اتلو ما اوحي اليك من الكتاب واقم الصلاه ان الصلاه تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولذكر الله اكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون how is it Yani what is the process that takes place in the salat that makes it that which prevents a person from evil and indecency? The worshiper who establishes the prayer, who completes and perfects the pillars, the arkan of the salat, and the shurut, the conditions of the salat, and the khushu of the salat. Yani here he's referring to what? The outward aspects of the salat and the inward aspects of the salat. The person who performs the prayer in this manner, what happens to him? Yani the heart, the soul, the mind, the spirit of the human being is given light and the heart is purified and the iman is increased and the desire to do good is strengthened and the desire to do evil is reduced or made non-existent. So it is a necessity, there is no escape from it, that the person who is consistent in performing this prayer, guards and protects and preserves their prayer in this manner, this complete perfect prayer. There is no doubt that this type of prayer prohibits a person from indecency and evil. So oh how great is the affair of this salat, if we were to perform it in the manner that is expected of us. And this is because the Salat prohibits a person from being busied with the dunya. And the Salat creates al khushua in the heart of the believer. The whole of the Salat is like an admonisher that prevents a person from committing indecencies and evil deeds. Imam Ahmed narrates from Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, he said, a man came to the Prophet sallallahu and he said, yani indeed so and so, he prays in the night, but when morning comes, he steals. How many of us have found ourselves, how many of us have found ourselves performing salat? Maybe even getting up in the night and performing salat, and in the morning we still go out and we steal, or we lie, or we cheat, or we abuse someone, we commit sins. Adam, Every human being is committing sins, even though you are praying. But it is the prayer that enables a person, that strengthens a person and gives them the ability to refrain from those things. So if a person finds that they are praying in the night or they are praying in the day, that they are worshiping Allah and they are still committing sins, don't be frustrated. Because the Prophet ﷺ said to that man, so and so is praying in the night and he gets up in the morning and steals, indeed, that which you are saying, and he is praying in the night, will, will, and he eventually it will prevent him. It will. It does that. That's a fact. Don't doubt it. Then the Shaykh says, the people in terms of, yani, refraining from evil and indecency, yani, some of them are on different levels, they are on varying levels, they are not equal in this, due to the difference in the performance of the Salat. And if it doesn't prevent him from indecency and evil, this is an indication that he has failed to fulfill its rights. He hasn't performed the prayer outwardly and inwardly the way it is supposed to be. Even though he is obedient in performing the prayer, but he's not performing it the way it's supposed to be performed. The salat is the light of the believers. And it is the sila, and the connection, the link between the abd, the worshiper, and his rub. The salat. That's enough. That's enough. It is the sila that connects the abd to the rabb.